don't know that anyone actually taught me. I think I was just encouraged by so many other people, starting with my mother and my brother, always encouraging me to kind of uh, challenge the status quo, if you will, follow my heart, work hard, but follow your heart. And then um, as things went on, I got involved in our church at First Presbyterian Church, and uh, that church has a part of its legacy is community service, big time, uh, from the 1880s till today. So that was my first probably entry in that when my cousin James Murray uh, asked me to serve. I think I was like 27 years old on the board of deacons and elders when I was young. I think maybe, you know, my involvement in the Chamber, the Chamber Foundation, John Weir was a tremendous encourager uh, at that time. Jim Sprott's air show, although I never got to see it, I was the treasurer, so I was running back and forth picking up money at the turnstiles, if you will, so I, very, I never got to see the air show, but it was so cool that it helped so many charities. Uh, the funds that were raised because they put up booths and it was just really a neat experience. Sanctuary, uh, Rob McCorkendale encouraged me there. The School Foundation, McCorkendale, Kathy Brandt, Kim Mauser, uh, all encouraging that participation and how important it was. Of course, now I'm on the College Foundation Board. I think I've been on it like 10 years or so. And Pat Reed's got me involved a little bit in this Believe Boone County. Jerry McFarland got me to join Security Bank after Guarantee Savings and Loan failed, and I worked for the FSLIC. So he brought me in, and Jerry Mack, uh, if you look in the dictionary and saw Jerry McFarland or saw community service, his name would be there. He loved this community. And so he pushed me, if you will, or volunteered me. Uh, to get involved in the community. It was very important to him, and so he just frankly adopted me into that. Of course, put me in the press box, but got me involved in many things in the community, and I, t I really enjoyed it. We, we all have a hard time with that, frankly. It's not an easy task to have to uh, hold someone responsible for a delinquency, if you will. Uh, I, I will, I, I did get my first taste of that. My very first job after college was at Western Auto, and I worked for Ted Willis. And if you remember Western Auto down on the square and then moved out onto the four lane, but I had to repossess a, a refrigerator at a person's house, and I had to unload that refrigerator, all the food in. And so that was a horrible experience, and I didn't want to have to do that again. But um, I, that's not funny, but it's just part of the it's just part of the process that we have to take care of our responsibilities, I guess, if you will. But at the same time, show some compassion, and that was that was very difficult. And we did some things for those people after that, and before you know, during that time. But that was a my first repossession experience. You know, I started out on the um, on the clock with Jerry uh, McFarland, and, and, and about that time they started doing the um, play clock, the 25 second play clock. So they put me on that at first because Killer Cox ran the game clock, and then Dan Sherrill, and Dan ran it from until just this year, all those years. So um, Killer Cox always told me, now Dave, uh, you got to watch that referee. When he puts his hand up, don't pull that switch until it goes all the way down, because that'll help the goblins just a little bit. And so that was the way I was trained by Jerry Mack and Killer, just to help out if I could a little bit. Of course, Coach Tice uh, was a stickler for um, efficiency and rules and those kind of things, and where I was maybe a little bit unruly. And so he had to get on to me a few times. Tim Reeves and Tony Horton and Chuck Thomas and of course Dan Sherrill and and this year we, Shane Simmons has joined us up there so it's just been it's been a lot of fun. Craig Campbell always has to come up uh, for part of the game and I feel bad for Valerie that he feels like he needs to be up there getting us all fired up. You know. 